My role at CVA 8 is uh, to come and learn, um, to share some experiences, and one of the role is also to encourage people to think a little bit out of the box. So we, we offer a couple of out of the box sessions as the Climate Centre, and um, one of the sessions is around how to think more strategically um, around lobbying issues, how to think more strategically about um, making decisions and learning together. We, we've just had an out-of-the-box session on lobbying yeah. and it included some experiential learning games. It also included some serious reflection on lobbying steps and how to work with the media in an effective way. Um, so we can really promote local level based adaptation. I think, I think people realise that it's really important to have trust when you want to work together, either within communities, amongst communities, um, with other experts or stakeholders like um, from the donor level to um, people from local authority and government. Um, I think also people realise it's really important to stop and reflect um, on your actions that you've been doing. And I think it is really, really important to think out of the box, to not just think about mainstream approaches, um, because they say, um, if you do what you always do, you get what you always got. I think the people had very different and very individual learning experiences. I think uh, some people were certainly more in the leadership role and were more active and um, they, they were more heard for sure. Some people had an experience of not being heard, having some things to offer that they were not really able to contribute because it was a very dynamic process. I think this is what happens in life and uh, I think the reflection was really also to think and reflect on our different styles of learning. And. I think it is really important when we talk about local level adaptation that we are very critically understanding and interrogating our assumptions that we are having when we are thinking about local level adaptation and financing actions. So we really interrogate our own assumptions, we help other people interrogate their assumptions. So we really have the finance that is available for robust adaptation and that we can, as far as possible, avoid maladaptation. Mm -hmm. And I think a really important aspect there is to include monitoring and evaluation as a very strong aspect of the implementation phase. So if we are realizing this is not going the right way, we can actually adjust it quickly and hopefully unbureaucratically. So I think flexibility um, and innovation would be really important um, mm -hmm. criteria to think about.